think that announcement is too early for its post? No, I think it's a balance. I mean, we're not, on the one hand, of course, uh, we don't want to give any points away to the opposition for nothing. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we don't want to take our own supporters by surprise, and I think uh, we owe it to our to our supporters and especially to uh, the team in the GRC to know in good time what's going to happen, who whom they will be working with, and to have the new people to be able to bond and to get to know the conditions in the GRC uh, before they're fielded there. So from that point of view, there is an advantage in letting it be known early who's coming into the constituency. And uh, where to set the balance between surprise and preparation, well, that will vary from GRC to GRC. But in the East Coast, they thought that they, there was an advantage in going earlier because uh, for both Prof. Jakuma and Speaker Dratamugi to retire is uh, quite a big move for the GRC team. So I discussed this carefully with them, and uh, we agreed that we would do it last week, Thursday, and uh, let it be known. And so it is now now done. Whether it's early or not, well, you'll see in good time whether it was very early. What about the new candidates introduced? <coughs> what do you think of the, um, the reception to, to them? I, I don't know about the reception, but I watched some of the videos. I think they acquitted themselves well. It's quite daunting, suddenly to stand there and then whole group of 20, 30 journalists all asking them questions one after the other. Uh, but I thought they answered with confidence. It's just a start. I mean, after that, they've got to learn how to do this off the cuff with, uh, and uh, respond to what's being raised and then engage the audience. But I think they've learned. Some people are usually more prepared than others. Yeah, of course. Every personality is different, and we, we feel the range of candidates, so we cover the, the ground, representative of Singaporeans, and able to take care of them. So we must be identifying with the residents that uh, we are like you, but at the same time, we are able to add some value to you. And that's what they have to show. How many Malay candidates are you still inside? <laughs> <laughs> to ask more and more specific questions. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to go for media training. And <laughs> 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 so no numbers yet? No, no, I have no numbers. When it's finished, when we, will, when we have completed introducing all of the candidates, then we will arrange an occasion and I will parade all of them and show you the whole line. And then you can come. Do you think there's been too much hype over the election? Yeah, I think you should take it calmly. The newspapers are getting a bit breathless. I hear you have big teams in charge of reporting. So because there's no news, you have to make big stories, which is... Sometimes I read this, I learn something which I didn't know. <laughs> uh, I think the whole idea of elections is that you think carefully about long-term future for Singapore. And whatever ex emotions arouse during the period, calm down and detach yourself, think carefully before you vote. Which is why we now have a cooling off day uh, before polling day. So I think in that same spirit, we really should keep take things in our stride. And when it comes, it comes. I mean, before it comes, uh, you just know that it's on the horizon, but no need to get breathless yet. Uh, PM, sir, sorry. Yeah. Uh, you Are you breathless? No, <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Uh, okay. You mentioned that you hope that um, you wouldn't have to fill up new forms, meaning that you, you more or less finalise a team here. Will we be seeing only two new faces over here? I just answered your question you asked me again. <laughs> I hope we don't have to fill up new forms. I mean, we have a good team, and uh, I think that we will be ready. I mean, we've had to... I, we've lost... Most likely, two, we've lost two pieces of the GRC, uh, Lee Biwa's piece in Lee Sun South, and uh, uh, Min piece in Sengkang West. On the other hand, I've brought in uh, a piece from Aljunit with uh, Yoko Kuang. So, uh, plus and minus, I must add up to six. So I think I'll be able to do my sums right. <laughs>